Okay, today we're going to nerd out and replace his hard drive on this HP Pro 3500. It's a very common office computer. As you can see, I have it per turned off already. And all the cables and everything in the back have been taken out. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it on the side here and make sure the little uh, lock screw is uh, facing upwards. It's this little Phillips head, flat head screw. And you're going to go ahead and unscrew that. And be able to pull out your uh, access panel. Off the, okay. Pull that out. Pull it aside. And now you're going to have access to the inside of your computer. Uh, so pretty much right here is where the hard drive is on this machine. It's got two cables coming out, colored wires are going to your power supply, and the um, black one is your data cable. So you're going to have to go ahead and pull those out. Come out. You have to get the thumbnail in there. And so pretty much, it's very simple, uh, easy layout. You have four, I believe they are 15 Torx head. Let me just put this down. Let's see which one it is. I believe it's the 15. Yeah, it is the T15 uh, Torx head driver. Put it in there and go ahead and just unscrew them. Once the last one is loose, you kind of have to hold your hand underneath the hard drive or it'll just drop right down into the case here. So just put your hand underneath it. Like so. And then, like that. And then just kind of slide the hard drive out. It's got a little shelf in there, you can see, and that's pretty much it. You grab your new hard drive and slide it back in, and then put your screws back in the way they came out, like that. And then just screw it back in, and pretty much done. Depending on if you got a hard drive that has an operating system already installed on it. If not, you'll have to put one on it. Again, just make sure you put your cables back in where they came out. Like so. And then just much grab your access panel here. Slide it on, and you're good to go. Simple as that. Again, you know, if you have to put a hard drive on it, that's something uh, you have to refer to your manual, see if whatever operating system is compatible with this particular machine. So that's it.